So this is a case of two months old triceps soft tissue avulsion. This case was misdiagnosed and ne neglected, and the triceps tendon tear was not identified. So it is a case of young female patient with two months old triceps tendon avulsion. As you can see, the margins of the triceps is not very good. So the, all the fibrous tissue is removed, and the remaining triceps tissue is detected away from its insertion from olecranon process. So it is mobilized and all the fibrous tissue is removed and the olecranon bed is prepared. All the fibrous tissue from the bed is excised. Now number 2 fiber wire is taken, one blue color and one tiger wire is taken and both the fiber wire are passed through the triceps tendon in a crico fashion from medial to lateral and second one from lateral to medial. Both of these fiber wires total will have four strands distally and these strands will be used to do transosseous repair through the olecranon process. So the bleeding bed is prepared through the olecranon process. As you can see total two number two size K wire is passed through the olecranon process one from medially and one from laterally. These two K wire will be used to pass the fiber wire through the transosseous tunnel. So in this video we will show you transosseous repair along with use of suture anchor. So hybrid technique will be used for robust repair. So medially and laterally 2 K wire are used and we use a 1 mm 1.5 mm K wire to do multiple drill rolls to increase the bleeding. In the center we will put one suture anchor. So it is 5.5 mm peak double loaded suture anchor with preloaded needle attached to the fiber wire. So this suture anchor will also be used to repair the triceps tendon. As this is a female patient, the size of the olecranon is very small. Only one suture anchor is being used. And along with suture anchor for robust repair and so that we can start early mobilization, two transosseous suture will also be passed. So as you can see in the center, suture anchor is used. The advantage of this suture anchor is it is preloaded with attached needle so that you don't have to use a separate needle to pass the sutures. Once suture anchor is passed, all these fiber wires are passed to the distal most part of the triceps tendon from proximal to distal and medial to lateral direction. So there are it is a double loaded suture anchor so there are total four strands and all four strands are passed. Now we use transosseous shuttle technique so straight needle with attached ethylon loop is used and that ethylon loop is used as a shuttle suture. So previously passed fiber wire in a crack of fashion are passed through this tunnel. So one medial and one lateral fiber wire is passed through lateral tunnel and similarly one medial and one lateral fiber wire are passed through medial tunnel. So in so in such a way you will be able to reduce the triceps tendon completely over its footprint just like double row repair of the rotator cuff this will also will be act as a double row transosseous equivalent repair so for this technique it is very advantageous to have a straight needle with attached ethylon loop so through that small 2 mm tunnel you can shuttle both the fiber wires one by one as you can see in this video and this hole will also act as a bone stimulating factor to increase the healing potential of the triceps tendon. Through that holes, a bone marrow stimulating substance will come out. Now uh, ask assistant to keep on pulling the transosseous fiber wires while you tie down the past suture anchor fiber wire. So one by one fiber wires of the suture anchors are tied so that the triceps tendon will be reduced completely in its position. But if you see carefully, even if you tie the tri uh, suture anchor fiber wires, the edge of the distal most part of the triceps tendon keeps elevated. So to have a complete reduction of the edges of the triceps tendon, it is very important to have the transosseous repair. So once the suture anchors fiber wire are tied, the transosseous repair is tightened one by one. And there is a bony bridge in between, so there is no need to use endo button or suture disc. Once you tie down the transosseous stitches, you can see the edges of the triceps tendon are also well reduced over its footprint. 
while doing this tightening the elbow is kept in around 20 degree of flexion if you do it in complete extension there is possibility that post operative patient will have a flexion stiffness so it is advisable to do it in around 20 degree of flexion so one by one all the fiber wires are tied once they are tied the remaining ends which are cut you can do a crossover closure also but it is not required because extra fiber wires and knots can sometimes cause irritations and infections so here we have just cut the fiber wires on table you check the safe range and post operatively you can start the movement